You say you don't believe in God, yet scientist Sir Roger Penrose calculated the likelihood of the universe having this precise of a design and the calculation he came up with was 10 billion to the 123rd power, which is the number 10 billion with 123 zeros at the end, a number that humans cannot even comprehend. You say you don't believe in God, yet atheist scientist Stephen Hawking stated in his book The Brief History of Time that at the moment of the Big Bang, if the expansion rate of the universe was different by even one one hundred thousandth millionth millionth of a percent, that the universe would have collapsed back on itself. You say you don't believe in God, yet your existence alone is a human with a 400 trillion to one odd. You say you don't believe in God, yet did you know if one person's DNA was unravel in place end to end it would stretch to Pluto and back? You say it takes too much faith to believe in God, and that to that I'll ask you have you ever seen non-intellectual produce intellectual? Have you ever seen non-life produce life? Have you ever seen a massive explosion or expansion produce design and order? Every explosion I've ever seen has led to mass destruction, not design and order. You say you can't trust biblical texts because they are ancient manuscripts that were written by men thousands of years ago, yet the Bible is the most preserved text in all of humanity, with over 25,000 manuscripts in the world. I then ask you why do you trust the reliability of people like Caesar, Galileo, and many other ancient figures when they have far more or less items written about them? You say that the Bible has been mistranslated and altered, yet the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the 1950s have proven that claim to be false. You say you don't believe in the miracles of Jesus, yet you believe in the miracles of the universe being almost perfect in every aspect for us and our ecosystem to survive. You say it takes too much faith to believe in religion, yet I counter that claim with the notion that I believe it takes way more faith to be an atheist than a theist. You say there is no point to be a believer, yet studies show religious people live a happier life, more likely to adopt, more likely to volunteer, and marriages that are done biblically divorce way less. You say you don't need God to have good morals and you would be correct. But then you cannot ground your morality in anything else but pure opinion. And you say, who cares? And I'd ask you who was right, morally, Mother Teresa, or people who have killed millions in the past. Because it all comes down to subjective opinion if you're an atheist. And if you've had enough bad people have a bad subjective opinion, we would be in a world of trouble. God allows us to ground our morality in an objective manner instead of pure opinion of one person versus the next. You say the Bible isn't reliable, yet carbon dating has allowed us to see over 2,000 prophecies confirmed from the Old Testament to the New Testament. You say believers are living in a fairy tale, yet the evidence of Christianity is so overwhelming, I would ask you, how can you not believe? You say, why does God allow humans to suffer and not even have enough food to live? And I'll turn that question right around against humanity and ask, why do we as humans allow people to not get enough food and water to survive? You say, why doesn't God just come down and show himself and so that we can believe? And I say to that, he already did, and we killed him. And I know that if he came again, we would try to kill him again because the world hates the truth and loves their sin. Get right with God now. Time is running out.